Hi everyone, my name is Dong. I'm a Canadian animator working in Japan, and recently I worked on several shows where I had to animate animals. Here's a scene I worked on for the Megalobox anime involving a medium sized dog. Check it out. <laughs> I think one thing all animators should know is how to animate animals walking. I'm also pretty sure animating animals was one of my assignments back in school, and I would consider it to be part of an animator's essential toolkit. Today, we'll look at animating a horse's walk cycle. I think once you learn how to animate a horse, you can essentially animate any other quadruped's walk cycle. American animator Abe Levital once proposed that a horse walking looks like an ostrich and a human combined. So let's look into that. I'll be animating OpenTunes. If you have any questions regarding how to use OpenTunes, please check out my video on the software. Here I have that human walk cycle that we animated in a previous tutorial. Go check that out if you haven't animated a human walk cycle before. Here we have a layer for the ground plane and a layer for a walk. It's a standard 12 frame per step animated on series similar to ones you often see in Japanese animation. A1 to A4 is one step, and that movement is mirrored with the opposite leg which drawings A5 to A8. Let's start drawing our ostrich on a separate layer. Ostriches are pretty big, so let's draw its body around the size of our human's torso and pelvis. The head then extends above like so. Ostriches have a tail, so draw that in. Then let's extend the legs down. If we look at an ostrich skeleton, we can understand how the legs work. Unlike humans, their legs bend backwards at the knees. We are going to match the pose of the ostrich, which are human, but with some changes, so follow along. For the contact pose, we'll have the right leg contact the ground like our human, but the left leg will be lifted off the ground like so. Moving on to the down pose, we can move the body down a bit like what's a human. And here the right leg pulls back while the left leg starts moving forward. Moving on to the passing position, the body starts to move up while the right leg continues to move backwards and the left leg continues to move forward. With the up position, the body moves upward while the right leg continues to pull backwards. And the left leg starts going down in anticipation of hitting the ground. With our four drawings drawn, let's go back and use our onion skin, check the spacing and make sure everything is working alright. And once that is done, we just have to redraw the movement but with the legs mirrored. Turn on the onion skin and let's get drawing. If you saw my video on drawing human walk cycles, it's the same idea. Once that is done, I go back and flip through my drawings and make any touch-ups to make sure the movement arcs are smooth and to make sure that the legs aren't changing in length when it moves. Alright, let's play it back. I'm going to label our ostrich, making it the B layer. Ignore what the layers say in the software. Then, to get the horse movement working, we want to shift our ostrich down by a drawing. So grab everything and drag it down by 3 frames so that A2 and B1 are exposed together, and so on. Let's take the last drawing, B8, and move it to where A1 is exposed. 
Next, I'll trim down the opacity on layers and create a new one to draw our horse in. And now, we'll just draw our horse like so, using our bottom layers for reference. The torso would look something like this, and here it connects to the pelvis. The neck gets extended and the head is attached there at the end. To draw the front legs, we'll draw the shoulders and extend the legs from there. Using our human as a guide, we draw the right leg, and we do the same for the left leg. Now we extend the hind legs, matching the legs of our ostrich. And don't forget about the tail. Now let's move on to the next drawing. Unlike the human, the horse's front leg contacting the ground does not bend and will stay straight the whole time. Also, the left leg actually lifts off the ground here, which is a bit different from our human walk cycle. The hind legs match pretty well with the ostrich, so we can just use that as direct reference. We'll move on with the next drawing. Here the front legs match pretty well with our human, and the hind legs too match really well with our ostrich. And again with drawing 4, everything matches up pretty well. Just be careful with the legs and the way that the hooves bend backwards, which is pretty unique to hooved animals. Flipping through our drawings, I can see some issues, so let's polish up our animation. For drawing one, I think the distance between the front legs are a bit too far, so I'll grab the selection tool and adjust it a bit. I also think that the hind legs are way too far back, so I'll grab the legs and shift them forward a bit. We're also going to have to adjust the rest of the drawings so that they match up properly. We should have probably moved the ostrich a bit closer to our human in the reference layer, but no use crying over spilt milk. Next, we have to draw the movement for the other leg. Again, same principle, use the onion tool and use what we already drawn as reference. Make sure to flip through your drawings and check that all the arcs of movements are smooth and make any changes to your drawings when needed. Let's play it back. I think it looks alright. It's passable, but it looks a bit stiff. If you are a superstar, you can take your animation to the next level. To make this easier to explain, I'll label our drawings first. The horse will be the C layer. To loosen up the walk, we will have to adjust the up and down movement of the head, shoulders, and pelvis a bit. With drawing C1, the shoulders should be at the lowest point in the walk, while the head at the highest. 
with C2, here the pelvis should be at the highest point. With C3, the shoulders are at the highest point while the head is at the lowest. And lastly, C4 should have the pelvis at the lowest point in the movement. Repeat this for the drawings on the other side. All right, let's play back the finished animation. Looks nice, eh? So did what Abe Levital said about a horse walking looking like a human and ostrich together, true? Almost, but I think this is still a great way to learn how an animal walk works. Once you learn the horse walk, you can change things around and pretty much draw the walk cycle for any quadruped. Well, we animated on threes here. If you want to animate on twos instead, it is pretty easy to just adjust the drawings to fit what you need. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Check out my Twitter and Instagram. I've been posting sketches and other works on there. Big thanks to all the Patreon supporters. And if you would like to support the channel, links are down below. Take care.